One of the more popular cabinets we're selling these days are these apron farm sink bases. So we want to talk through how to support your farm sink and some nuances to this cabinet as well. Um, Conestoga's farm sink bases do not come with the apron already cut out. They come with a big head rail and based on your sink spec you'll need to cut that out in the field. Um, make sure you pick the right size cabinet. Ideally you want the cabinet box to be three inches bigger than the sink you're putting in it. So if you're doing a 36 inch sink you want to use a 39 inch cabinet. That's what the case is here. Um, so when we get the sink installed we're going to have to cut this out and we're going to notch it down to nine and a quarter inches uh, so that the sink slides in nice and clean. If you have a bigger sink, some of the sinks can get as big as 10, 10 and a half inches. We can do a custom front frame where the doors get shorter and this head reel gets bigger. It's not a big deal. We can do that for you. Just make sure you don't use the standard apron sink base. We have to do that one custom. Now to support your sink, we haven't got this cut out yet, but we do have our platform in here. Uh, this is going to be a big heavy granite sink. So we're going to see if the camera can pick up some light in, inside here. But what we've done is we put some um, really thick inch and a quarter angle iron across supported by these uh, in shear, standing upright, three-quarter pieces of plywood. We've got one in the back and one in the front, and then a three-quarter plywood plank across the center. So as a demonstration, uh, have the video camera person stand up in a moment. We'll show you how much weight this can carry. Um, but this sink is going to be upwards of 300 pounds, so we wanted to make sure we've got this reinforced. And this um, metal goes actually through the cabinet side. We actually notched the cabinet side and buried uh, the rod in the cabinet. So this thing is going to support a lot of weight. So to demonstrate how much weight, I weigh about 220 pounds, I'll stand up inside the cabinet. And this, this is very, very, very strong. This is going to go nowhere. I can probably put me and several other people up here, but that, uh, that's a really good way to support your sink. It takes a little bit of working and fussing around, but once we get this notched out, the sink will slide straight in. We've got room in the back here to run our plumbing up. We've still got our hands up there to um, you know, play with our discussions and all of our piping. And the sink will stop right about here, and then we'll cut our drain holes with a circular saw, uh, a um, hole saw rather, we'll cut our drain holes when the sink arrives, and we know exactly where those locations are. So uh, again, these are not sold with the cabinet. You need to buy your own plywood and support that. It can be scrap plywood, nothing special. Just make sure you're using three quarter thick and support it really well all the way around. If you have any questions on how to do your apron sinks, just give us a call. 888-211-6482. Thanks.